morning. Welcome to my vlog. So today's week's video is going to be a college week in my life. It's my first time filming something like this. So give me some grace. Um, it may be a rough first one, but we're going to try to get better as we go and learn how to vlog better. So I am going to take you guys on a week in my life as a college university student at Louisiana Tech University. Um, this morning, it is 9.17, sorry, 9.17 a.m., um, I just got out of my 8 a.m. class. I did not film getting ready this morning or going to class because, let's be honest, for my 8 a.m., I am really pretty much just taking a shower, drinking coffee, throwing clothes on, and running out the door. Not trying to get cute, not doing anything fancy. It's pretty much a time crunch for my 8 a.m. just to get to class on time. So we're just grateful for the fact that we even got here on time this morning and made it to class. So, I really did not have time to film this morning, and that really wasn't on the forefront of my mind. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but right now, I am going to be going to a chiropractor appointment. It was actually scheduled for 10, but usually if I get there early, they will let me in early and get adjusted, which I'll kind of take because the sooner I can get in and out of there, the better, so I can go home and actually kind of get my day started. Um, I have no more classes to attend today, which is crazy. I know Mondays are a weird day for me. I only have one class, but I do have quite a bit of work I can do today. So I will, after my appointment, I'm going to go home, chill out, eat lunch, and then I'm going to be studying and doing work today. So I'm going to take you guys with me and we'll try to be as productive as we can. So here's for hopefully a productive week in my life. Who knows what's gonna happen? So I'll see you guys at the chiropractor appointment. Hey everyone, so I am actually at the um, chiropractor office. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff that I need. In case you're wondering, I am getting my back adjusted. I've been having some neck pain and back pain. Um, and I get migraines because of my neck pain. And I'm getting, I'm trying to get a breast reduction, um, and I'm trying to get it covered by insurance if I can. So one of the steps is, of course, going to see a chiropractor and having them approve and write that you have been seeking treatment and that they recommend it. So I've been seeking treatment at a chiropractor, and I will say that it does it help my back pain. It helps manage it, but my back pain is ever present still because I don't think it will ever go away until my breasts are small. I just don't think that's going to happen, but I'm doing what I have to do in order to get surgery, hopefully covered by insurance. If not covered by insurance, we're going to figure it out. My dad said he'll cover it because he knows how much pain I'm in, and I'm so grateful for that. But we are going to try to get insurance to cover it because it really is a medical reason for me. It truly is medical because I am in pain every single day. But if insurance is a but and will not pay for it, my dad said he will help me because he understands I'm not just doing this to be pretty. I'm doing this because I'm in severe pain. So I am prefacing that because some of you are probably wondering why the heck a 20-year-old is going to a chiropractor for no reason. So no, it's not no reason. I am going because of that. Um, I'm going to bring in my calendar planner thing just because I'm probably going to have to schedule an appointment for next week. I actually overdo a week because I went home for the weekend and had to reschedule. But that way I can kind of look and make sure I am scheduling around everything because I don't feel like I'm to call or reschedule because I'm stupid and schedule something during a class or whatever. So bringing that in with me. Okay, I think I'm just going to bring my purse in because I should have everything else I need in it. It should be all I need to bring in. I love how I just showed you all my triple chin, isn't it? It's so cute. Um, bring in my Louis. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to need. Um, I'll film a little bit inside. Of course, I can't film everything because I don't think that's legal. I don't know. But um, I will, you know, I'll film when I can. But I don't think it's legal. So, see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> also, just wanted to pop in and say that I know. Oh, wait. I look rough. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to pop in here to say that this office always plays worship music when I'm in here, and it's so amazing. Like, uh, I just love starting my day off with worship. <laughs> Okay, first.
first off, let me just tell y'all, I already feel so much better after that appointment. That, wow, that was so good. Uh, I usually never feel like a difference right away after a chiropractor appointment, but I'm uh, kind of like a week overdue, and so my back was like really sore, and I already feel a difference in my back today. And like I said, these help me like control the pain. Like the pain doesn't go away 100%, but for like a day or two, it makes the pain less strong. So yes, also someone just pulled up next to me, this is awkward. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and head home and get some stuff done. When I left this morning, I didn't have time to make my bed. So now I'm going to make my bed and get ready for the day. Since I didn't have breakfast this morning, I think I'm gonna go ahead and have an early lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. It takes me a little bit because I have to cook some grilled chicken and then add to my salad. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. And let's go. I know the salad looks so bland, but like I didn't realize we were out of literally everything. So I need to make a grocery run. But I just threw some chicken, some blue cheese on some spinach or more call it a day. Uh, I usually put vegetables and cucumbers and stuff in it. But I'm out. So this is just going to have to work for today. Also, that noise is our grass cutters. They are here today. They kind of showed up unnoticed, but it's fine. Um, so I'm probably just going to stay until they are done. So I'll do some homework here while they are working on the grass. Because I don't like leaving the house when people are here working. Just to make sure nothing happens. But yeah, so lunchtime. While I am waiting for those guys to finish cutting our grass, I'm going to go ahead and do some math homework. Well, I have the free time to do some. I don't really like doing homework at the house because I don't get as much work done, I feel like. But you got to do what you got to do. So we're going to get this done as much as we can. So yeah. I've made it to the depot. I forgot my sunglasses. I'm actually really sad about it, but it's fine. I um, made it to the depot. I'm going to run in and get started on my work, and I'll see you guys in a minute. So I chose to sit outside because the weather's kind of nice. It's a little on the chillier side, but not bad. So I chose to sit outside to do my homework, and no one else is out here, so it's kind of nice. I got my own little quiet space, and I don't have to wear my mask because I'm by myself outside, and I'm at my own table, so I'm socially distanced. But I did get this new coffee they have called the I Nutty Irish Man. I just put like Irish cream and hazelnut, so I'm going to try it. I really like it. So I would say it's been about two hours. Um, I finished all my math homework. Um, it was actually a lot, but I finished it. Um, I do have a test on Thursday in math and a test on medical terminology. So I did all my math homework today. Um, I also did our extra online homework we have to do. So I did all that, so that's, oh, excuse me. So that's done. Um, I need to study for midterms still, but I decided that I wanna make like flashcards and I do not have any on me. So I'm going to have to run to like a store and get some. So I decided to take a little break. And so I'm just going to run to the gym and go ahead and start getting my workout done for the day. Because I'm trying to start working out every single day. And also, sorry that I just gasped. Like, gosh. I'm not that out of shape. I just talk really fast sometimes. And when I start talking fast, I don't take in air until my body's like... <gasps> So if you're like that, let me know, because when I get excited, I talk real fast. But anyway, yes, I have a t-shirt on, leggings and tennis shoes, so I was like, why not? Let's go to the gym. While we have some free time, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, do my cardio there, and then I have been doing the Chloe Ting two-week shred ab workout. I'm going to start that today. I know it's like something like minor, but it is becoming time for swimsuit season. And I am a body positivity gal. I believe everybody's a swimsuit body. But I also know I personally do feel a little bit more confident when I know I've been working out and I know I've been treating my body right. 
Now, am I going to have to be a size 2 with abs? No. But if I do feel better about myself, if I know I've been doing the right things for my body, and I just feel more confident in general. So, I have been trying to do different workouts to kind of aim because I love cardio. Cardio is my thing. I hate building muscle. It hurts. I don't like it. But that's why I look flabby. So... I'm all about curves, but I'm trying to tone it a little bit so it just looks a little bit more healthy and put together. So I'm focusing on my abs for the next two weeks, and we're going to see what happens. And if I want to keep working on my abs after that, I will, or I'll take a break and do focus on a different area of my body. I like doing them at home in the privacy of my room because I get embarrassed working out. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I hate working out at the gym, doing those type of exercises because I do not have strong core yet and it's very embarrassing because I'm surrounded by people who actually bodybuild and work out every day. So I do it at home, but I don't have access to a treadmill at our house that I'm living in for college. So I have to go to the gym and use the treadmill and it's free, so why not? So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do my cardio and then depending on the time, I'll either run home and go ahead and just do the abs and call it a day or yeah, it's just going to depend on the time, what I do after that. Probably may just run to the store, wash my car, and then do my abs when I get home because I'm going to have to, I just have another errand to run, and I think this makes more sense to stay out. But, so I'm kind of talking to myself, trying to figure that out. But yeah, so I'm about to head over to the gym, and I will see you guys in a minute. Hey everyone, so I'm about to head into the gym. Um, I do like to wear these masks whenever, it's upside down, but I like to wear these masks whenever I'm at the gym because at our gym, everything is socially spaced out, especially on the equipment like the ellipticals, the treadmills, all that. They are spaced out six feet apart. And so once you're in your space, you can take your mask off. But when you're walking around the gym, you put these on. And if you had any like weight, like the building, bodybuilding, I don't know how to call it, bodybuilding stuff, where you are around people closer, you're supposed to wear these as well. But on the machines, you are allowed to take it off because you are socially distanced. So these are just easier for that because I can just keep it around my neck. And then when I'm getting, when I want to move, I just put it back on and do my thing. So that's why I like this one. I know there's like some people saying that these don't really work as good as normal masks. I don't have that experience. I worked at a camp when I got this mask and no one got COVID and when we wore them consistently. So I think it'll be fine. But if you don't agree with me, that's fine as well. But I am going to wear my face covering while I am in the gym moving around. So I'm going to go inside and get a locker and yeah. my little cardio workout uh, I shall inserted the clip at the end to show like, my final results to everything um, I did a 12 3 30 workout it's just a simple easy quick cardio especially because I can't run because it's size of my breast it hurts too much walking is the best thing for me and the incline helps me get more out of it so that's my cardio I'm holding it crooked sorry <laughs> so that was my cardio it's 220 so I actually have some time so I'm gonna go run and get my car washed and then maybe go and pick up my flashcards and hang on the time. I should have time to do that. Pick up my flashcards and then I'm going to run my errand, my next errand. So, busy day. <laughs> That's why I decided to kind of vlog. I was like, I have a lot of stuff going on today. So, maybe it can give me something. So, again, college is sometimes exciting. But sometimes it's days like this where it's just life. And sometimes college life isn't that exciting. And that's just the truth of the matter. And I don't know, it's COVID too, so it's not like you can do much. So we're making the most of it. Hey guys, so I'm 
got my next destination, which is my massage therapist's office. I see her once a month. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a gift card for my roommate for her birthday, which is Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her a gift card. So hopefully this video is up after she's already received and I hope she likes it. So I'm gonna go pick it up and pick one out for her and probably after that go home, do my ab workout and study for my midterm class. The gift card has been secured. Mary gets a one hour massage. So I really hope she likes it. I don't know if she's ever had an actual professional massage before or not. But I know she's been very stressed out lately with work and school and being on a bunch of leadership positions and her organizations. And so I thought maybe she could treat herself one day and just get herself nice and massaged out. Get all those stress knots out. Because I know she has to be very overwhelmed and stressed. And it's my gratitude for being a good roommate and friend and twin because she's my sorority twin. So, got her a nice gift. Um, I'm not gonna say prices on the internet because I think that's rude. So I'm not gonna do that for gifts. I think that's disrespectful. So I'm not gonna say how much it was. It's from the pop my heart, not the uh, not the wallet. So I hope she enjoys it, and I can't wait to see when she gets it Wednesday. And I'll try to film that as well. I decide that since I'm home, I'm gonna go ahead and do the workout, my Chloe Teen app workout. <laughs> Don't mind the random mask on the floor. That's embarrassing. But I'm just gonna do my workout. I'm not gonna film it because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys when I'm done dying. That killed me. So now I'm gonna eat my granola bar for a snack, do my studying, and probably edit some of this vlog together. So see you guys later. <laughs> Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, I have not vlogged at all today because I have been in classes since 8 a.m. this morning on campus and I've been running around doing my classes so I have not had time to actually put on camera and vlog. But I'm done with classes for the day. Uh, I'm very tired. I got pretty much no sleep last night so I'm exhausted. But I still have a lot of things I need to get done today. Um, I apologize in advance that my air is probably blowing really loud. I'm looking at it. Yeah, it's probably blowing really loud on the mic, but it's hot. It's like 87 degrees in my car, so I'm letting it cool off a little bit. Um, I'm going to run to the coffee shop, get coffee, of course, because I'm tired. And then I'm going to go and honestly probably just study. I'm meeting a friend at 2 at the same coffee shop, and I'm just going to study some or for midterm facts, because we have a test on Thursday. So I'll meet with her and study. And that's probably what I'm going to do today is homework and study. I have no other plans on the calendar for today, which I'm kind of glad about because I am really tired. So yeah, I don't have too much to do today. I will go to the gym. I definitely need to because I eat fast food for lunch. I have McDonald's, no McDonald's, uh, Chick-fil-A on campus because it was quick, it was easy, it was on campus. I went ahead and ate it. Because uh, I really don't have a lunch break on Tuesday, Thursdays, and so when I can manage to squeeze food in, it's usually quick. So, it was quick, but not real healthy for me, so I'm going to run to the gym, especially today, to make sure I get some working out in, to make up for that, and do my abs. So, we're going to do what we have to do today. I'm just very tired. <laughs> so, prayers, I can make it through today. Um, yeah, I'll take you guys with me. Um, I'm probably just going to go to the coffee shop and just chill out for a little bit before she comes. We have like 30 minutes we're supposed to meet. I was going to go run an errand. Like, I've kind of thought about it and I don't really need to do that errand. It's, it's more of like a want than an actual errand. So I'm probably not... Oh, I just covered the lens. I'm so sorry. Let me clear that off. There you go. So yeah, I'm probably just going to go chill out for a little bit. Close my eyes. Maybe take a little quick nap and then go from there. I'll take you guys with me and we'll see y'all in a minute. Of course, we're going to watch the new Demi Lovato Dancing with the Devil docuseries while I'm doing my homework because I couldn't think of a better way to kind of unwind and relax for a little bit. So, mad respect already to my girl Demi. I can't wait to see your story unfold while I do my homework. As you can tell, I'm in my bed. We're being very lazy. Uh, I finished all my work, ate dinner, I had a salad just because... I had a heavy lunch, so I wasn't starving, and I just wanted something light. So I just had like, a nice salad. Um, I'm actually about to make myself go to the gym and get my cardio done, because I need to get it done. I have no excuse not to, so 
I'm gonna go get it done and then I'll come back to my abs and I'll probably just review some more midterm stuff for studying just to kind of get a review in but I can do that in my bed so <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna make my myself get up and do this this is realistic some days you just don't want to do anything but I'm trying to push through and it'll be worth it in the end so wish me luck I won't force myself to get some act Blah, blah, blah. Exercising done. As usual, that felt like the longest 30 minutes of my life. Y'all know the drill. It's Chloe Ting time. about to go run to Starbucks just to get a snack because let coffee be my snack today. <laughs> um, I'm going to try a new drink. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm going to use a gift card because girl broke. Like I'm actually really broke right now. So I got a gift card from my mom. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to use that and get me a coffee. We're gonna, we went ahead and did more, more, Morble, we did a morble. Mor I, I can't say it. Mobile order pickup. We're gonna calling that morble order. That's what it is. It's um, it's a morble. A morble order. A morble. That's what it is. So we did a morble. So now we're gonna go pick it up because the drive-through line, at least at our Starbucks, sometimes can be like a mile long and take like an hour. So I'm not risking it. I'm just gonna go in and grab it from the counter and call it today. I'm gonna try to go home and like kind of get kind of cute because I want to make some content for the Instagram today. I just really need to get some content on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. And then I have a meeting with my advisor, talk about summer classes. And then I'm going to go home and study for my two tests tomorrow. I may or may not go to the gym today. I may skip the gym just because I have two exams tomorrow and that's more important. But I will probably still do my ab workout. I probably just won't get the cardio done today. It really does just depend on my schedule and how it falls. I am going to church tonight, so I'm going to that. That takes priority, too, to me. So, doing that. And, yeah. So, I'm going to go get myself looking decent, and I'll see you guys at Starbucks. I'm going to turn my ear down so I can hear me better. But, okay, so I got this, like, I got a iced chocolate almond to shake in espresso thing. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to mix it. That looks like I'm supposed to when I got it. So I'm mixing it, shaking it. Alright, we're gonna try. I've heard a lot about it. This is so good. And it's like three espresso shots. Oh yeah, this is what we need today. Cheers. Hey everyone, it's later in the day, so as you can tell, I'm kind of dressed nice. My makeup looks horrible. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. For on Instagram, it kind of is far away from my face, so it's a little easier to hide how ugly I am. Well, lovely. Anyway, uh, I'm not a makeup guru. <laughs> so, I made some content for Instagram, uploaded that, then I went and did some homework for about an hour. Now, I'm about to go meet with my advisor to kind of plan out my summer classes just to make sure everything I want to take transfers over the tech so I can make sure I get my credits. So, I'm going to go and talk to her about that. Probably about to just go inside and wait if she's not ready for me. And go from there. Um, I'm planning on having like an early lunch because I'm really hungry. I had an early, early lunch, early dinner because I had an early lunch. And so I'm starting to get a little hungry now. My coffee snacks kind of going away. So, probably going to have dinner pretty early today, maybe around 5, and go from there. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. It's a grilled cheese kind of day. So, I just devoured my grilled cheese. And yes, I know grilled cheese. Also, my face is like orange compared to my neck. Lovely. That just shows how pale I am because usually this is my skin tone. Great. That or my makeup's expired. Probably both. Okay. Anyway, so I just devoured those freaking grocery sandwich. I know it wasn't a healthy dinner, 
but girl wanted a grilled cheese sandwich. I was craving it today. It was quick. It was easy. I had on whole wheat bread, so I feel, feel a little better. But yeah, I know it wasn't that healthy, but I don't eat it all the time. It was just once, and I just was craving it, and I wanted it. But I am going to go, because I really want I really want those Cadbury mini eggs. I don't know. I just have a chocolate craving right now. So I'm going to go run and get some. I usually don't, because I had iced coffee earlier. I usually like that my snack, because it's very, like, fatty. But it's fine. I'm going to go get some, because, you know, sometimes you just want it. And, you know, if I'm going to have a cheat day, I might as well go full hog and, like, treat myself to a little bit of Cadbury eggs. So I'm going to go and get some eggs. I'll see y'all in a little bit. I honestly need to hide these from myself because I'm going to keep eating them. It looks like I ate more than I did, but I'm going to keep eating these because they're so good. I need to hide them because I'm going to keep eating them otherwise. I hate binging. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to be studying tonight when I get back from church, so if I don't vlog for tonight, this is going to be the end of Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to be studying because I really don't want to film that, and then going to bed. And again, I want to go ahead and say it before anybody roasts me, I know, this is ridiculous. I don't know what the problem is, this is usually my skin tone. I don't know. Uh, I'm just white white right now, so I'm probably going to fake tan tonight or tomorrow night. Is it kind of maybe help myself out a little bit? I don't know, but it's ridiculous. So, this needs to be fixed. <laughs> I know. I just want to let y'all know that I'm aware. Don't roast me. Anyway, good night, y'all. I may vlog a little bit at church, but if not, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Hey, guys. So, I look like a hot mess right now, and I know that... I am extremely tired. I woke up really early. I took two tests. I'm just trying to go to sleep. I need a nap really bad. Like, I almost passed out in my class today out of just pure exhaustion. So, I'm going to go and take a nice nap. And I'll vlog some more later today. But I'm about to just go take a nap and rest. So, I'll see you guys later. I took a nap and I'm feeling a lot better. But right now, I'm just going to watch... Um, Brooke McKenna's survived eight-year-old Nae Young's kidnapping. Um, I love true crime videos with some of my favorite. As you can tell, I've been watching. Oh, my finger. You can tell I've been watching. Uh, of course not. Okay. Um, <laughs> similar Disney <laughs> drama. Whatever. But I really do enjoy true crime content, and I love Brooks. So shout out to Brooke. You're pretty cool. So I'm gonna watch her video and relax while I'm a chicken defrost for dinner. Update, I am exhausted. So I've done nothing all day. I took a nap and then I literally just laid around and slept. So I'm very tired, but I need to go to the gym today because I did not go yesterday. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna try to get on a treadmill. Hopefully this one open. And I'm gonna do my little 30 minute walk. Then I'm supposed to be going to Bible. It's more of a, it's technically Bible study, but we call it small groups. So I'm going to go to that because I hate missing. I was contemplating not going, but I really hate missing. So I'm going to go and then I'll probably go home and do my abs. And then I'm just going to go to bed because I am so tired. I get to sleep in a little bit later tomorrow, so that's nice. But yeah, I'm exhausted. I got a B on my test that I was more worried about, so I'm excited. And yeah, it's been a decent day. It's just been unproductive due to me just having no energy. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Got to my friend's house. I'm running a little late because by the time I left the gym, it was already 7, but it's fine. I never really start on time anyway, so. But I am going to put some deodorant on because, gotta be realistic here, I'm so weak in my life. We don't want to be smelling like a crazy person after leaving the gym, and I don't know if I smell or not, and I don't want to risk it because I did sweat, so I'm going to rub some deodorant on. I always keep some in my purse, and I also have my spray a little bit of perfume. I can find it. 
detergent of this Bath and Body Works small travel perfume, which is amazing. For travel. Take this mask off. It's gross. Yeah. Alrighty. We're about to go in. See y'all in a little bit. officially um it is the last day of my week in my life vlog super excited uh, as you can see i just had chick-fil-a for lunch i know i've been eating a lot of fast food this week but honestly i just i like when i have to be in town just to stay in town until i'm done because i just find it to be a lot more convenient that way and to get as much done as i can when i can so Chick-fil-A was on campus, it was quick, and so I went ahead and just grabbed it. I just got an eight count nugget, a medium fry, and I got some water. So not the healthiest meal ever, but I did try to be conscious of like not getting the sandwich so I don't have to eat the bread, because I didn't have carbs for breakfast. Just trying to be mindful of what I'm eating, um, portion control as well. Um, I do go to the gym, so I'll probably be fine. So I am trying to be more mindful of what I'm eating, so. I am aware that I should have Chick-fil-A every day of the week, I know, but today was just the best option because it was quick, it was easy, and I have to run home to get it because I think it's kind of a waste of my gas and my time to run back and forth home a million times. So I'm actually, excuse me, I'm about to head over to my eyebrow wax appointment because I'm getting my eyebrows waxed just to kind of, they're not real horrible, but I want to do them before they get crazy. And I'm getting my lip wax as well because that hair is starting to grow. So I'm gonna get that done. And then I have another chiropractor appointment. And then I'm gonna go home and do my laundry because it's my laundry day. So I'm gonna go home and get all that done. And while that's going, I'm gonna be doing some homework. And then I'll be done. And then I'll probably maybe run to the store to cook something because I just want some food tonight. So I may do that and go to the gym. I mean, it's pretty much all I have on my agenda today. I'll probably go to bed at a decent time because I do have some things I want to accomplish tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll take y'all with me. Here we go. Hey guys, I just left my wax appointment and now I'm at the chiropractor's office. I am early. I'm going to wait a couple minutes before I go in because I'm very early and I want them to like be annoyed. So, um, yeah, I'd come in early because usually they're really good about just bringing you back early if you're here early and they're ready for you. But I feel like I'm a little too early for that. So I'm going to wait a couple more minutes. I just got my eyebrows waxed and my lip waxed. Uh, I just got a wax. I didn't do a tint or anything. Uh, I like getting tints. I like getting laminations, like all that stuff. But I am broke right now and can't really afford it. So, a wax is good enough. It's a shape of them. I got my lip wax as well. You can't really tell because it's just a lip wax. But I had some hairs growing. And my lip hair, I can actually go a while before I need to wax it. But it was starting to show, especially when I wore makeup. So, it was time for it to go. Um, I was like, I might as well do it while I'm there. So, I went ahead and got that done. I'm going to grab my calendar to schedule my next appointment to make sure I schedule it on a good day. I mean, I know some of you are probably like, why are you here again? He told me to come back this week. Usually it's every other every week, but this one was twice a week, so I'm not complaining. I'll do what he tells me to do. I would love it when I get cracked like a glow stick every week. It makes me super excited. <laughs> I said it's so monotone. Gosh. Yeah, it makes me really excited. Um yeah, next week, if I do it, I'm just going to have to do this sometime early in the week so I won't be here Thursday on. So, we'll fit it in somewhere. But, yeah, I better go get that done. And I'll see you guys when I get out. Um, I wish I could film my chiropractor adjustments. I think they're so funny. But I don't think I have the right to do that. And I don't feel comfortable enough to do that. <laughs> so, not happening. But, yeah, I'll see you guys later. 
So, turns out I'm even earlier than I planned. They don't open for the second half of the day after lunch till two. I didn't notice that. So, my appointment's at two. So, I'm for their two o'clock appointment. Ah! So, I. So, I'm an idiot. So, they don't open till two. I literally walked up to like open the door and I was like trying to open it. But. <laughs> They're closed for lunch until two. Also, my teeth look so yellow. Oh my gosh. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Sorry I had to see that. But, yeah. So, I have like 30 minutes. So, I may run to the store and get a couple grocery items and then come back. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm just going to run and do that real quick and then come back here at two. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> We're going to try this again. Let's go. Laundry is getting done, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of my math homework. We are using Alex right now. Don't mind me. About to also shout out to Angela, you know, for making media kits. I was thinking about using her to make me a media kit. Anyway, off topic. Um, I'm working on Alex, which is our way to do math homework. So I'm going to work on that. And then I'm also watching a Christina Randall video while I'm doing so because she just uploaded so of course I had to watch so yeah that's kind of the updated plan of what's going on right now what's up fam welcome back to the most boring week of my life ever um I don't know why I chose this week of all weeks to film because clearly as you can tell like my life has not been very exciting so I don't know why I chose to film, but it's fine, it's fine. But we are going to go to the gym because I have no excuse not to. All my clothes are done, except for my underwear. It's wa drying, not washing, it's drying. So I might as well go. So I'm going to go do some cardio, and then we'll do my abs when I get back. Because again, no excuse not to today. So I'm going to go do that, and then hopefully kind of wrap up my day. Because I kind of want to go to bed early. Because I have a busy week. A busy week. I have a busy day tomorrow. We're throwing a surprise party for my roommate. Which I can save. Because this video will be up after that. So <laughs> I have a busy day tomorrow. Of cleaning my room. Because I don't know about anybody else. But my room gets disgusting during the week. So I clean up everything real good. Because I know when I get busy during the week, I just start throwing junk everywhere and it gets crazy. So I clean up usually on Saturdays or Sundays. So that way I start my week with a clean room. So I'm going to clean, get myself looking cute, and then get ready for my friend's birthday. And there will probably be a picture on Instagram or something. So definitely go check me out on Instagram. Um, I'm probably going to wrap up this vlog here just because it's not there's not going to be much going on for me to film tonight. But yeah, I've had a pretty nice week. It's been chill. Um, I've never vlogged before, so this is something new for me. I don't really know what I'm doing. So, and I know it's probably like a lot of stuff I don't care about, but that's fine. I'm kind of just experimenting with it while my life's kind of boring. So that way when my life actually does get a little bit more interesting, I know a little bit more how to vlog better. <laughs> get these like rough drafts out the way when my life's kind of boring. I really have enjoyed doing it. It's really fun content to make. And I hope that you guys can get a glimpse of my life a little bit better. And if you're my family or friends that don't live around me in Ruston, you can maybe get a glimpse on what I'm doing in college. And even my friends in college who, like, only see me in class. <laughs> like, hey, this is me. This is my life. Welcome. So, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end of this video. If you haven't, it's okay. I understand. It was kind of, kind of long-winded and boring, but... It's okay. <laughs> I'm really grateful for everyone who's watched this. Please follow me on my other social medias. I do have a TikTok. I post on there like never, but every now and then I'll post something dumb. So like you can follow me on there if you would like. Um, follow my Instagram. That is the platform I am the most active on just because it's a lot easier to be active on Instagram than on YouTube. So definitely follow me on Insta <laughs> Definitely follow me on Instagram to stay updated on my life, outfit, fashion, college tips and tricks. Definitely follow me down there for my other body positivity movements as well from a plus size girl. 
and I'll see you guys next time.